Hi, I'm Catherine, and I'm a senior at Duchenne. I have feelings now! And this is called My One True Love. When I walk into class, you're all I see. Instantly, my spirit brightens, and I feel raised to my purpose in this glorious universe. Your very appearance inspires me to greater heights. I cannot comprehend how beautiful you are. Never-ending curves and outline figure, baby, you go on for egg forever. Some people say you're easy, but you are more complex than they will ever be. We met when I was a sophomore in Algebra 2. For the few weeks I saw you, I felt hard. I'd glance over, and I'd spend endless hours imagining scenarios in which we could be together as one. I wish I hadn't wasted that time daydreaming, wish I'd made a move then. After you left, I never thought I'd see you again. When we were reunited a year later in pre-calculus, I knew it was a sign. My beautiful unit circle. <laughs> 16 sections divided by a delicious radius, the sweetest kind of pie I will ever partake in, a holy trinity of algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. Anarchy, rebellion, and revolution against the stagnancy of mathematics, this is an ode to you. You've awoken me to the beauty of the subject, taught me how sweet numbers are, how they twist and turn into equations, that those answers actually mean something in real life, and that everything I've been working for meets up in the end, and I will love you forever for having given me this gift. Your sum is more than your parts. Sine and cosine are similar, but different enough. Their graphs are the same, but just a step off, never disagreeing, but never falling against complacency, how it should be, forever entwined lovers like us. Cotangent and tangent are their children, Jacob and Esau. Opposites made from the same material, something more than their forefathers ever could be. Maybe one day we can have our own twins and raise them to love angles and poetry. Sure, we've struggled. When I bombed in American history, and when I bombed a review quiz because I put American history ahead of you, when you started looking at Fibonacci spiral instead of me, or the utter betrayal, when the woman who put us together ditched town and left her classes in chaos. For weeks after, I'd see you and I'd feel a moment of shame because the woman who had given us our happiness had caused others so much pain, and those students would never understand you like I did. We kept trying, put work into this, into this relationship, and see where we are now. We were made for each other. Me with my brain, my pencil, you with your blanks. I know sometimes I mix up your angles, but you know I can never mix up you, babe. <laughs> Let's find our coordinates together. I'll fill in your blanks. You'll bring a whole new meaning to trigonometry. We were made for each other, like Newton and calculus. Next year, I'll go off to college and I'll be forced to leave behind most things I love, including you. There is no room for you in medicine. I will mourn what we are losing. But never forget, no matter how much our paths change, I will love you forever. And there's always the 10-year high school reunion.